Goodbye. Wow, I can't even begin to pronounce that. What is that, Cyrillic? In override, we trust. What are you trying to read? Reactor. Oh, uh, this guy put up. This guy, Verlig, put up online. something that was in Cyrillic. Weapons online. All systems. Whoa! Sometimes you just gotta let it go. I wish I knew what it said though. Damn it, I'm already damaged. Game's over. Override engaged. I think in the last year, Hunchbacks have just become really um, dangerous on the battlefield. No, I mean like it's if you if you face against one in another match, it could be uh, um, daisies for you. Yeah, these are bombs. Pretty disgusting. They've gotten really yeah, tough. Yeah, definitely if you're already done. Oh, no. Especially that one with the the gauss where you can fire it like every two or three seconds. Got stuff in the t in the tunnel. Assaults in the tunnel. Target acquired. Oh look, another hunchback. Need assistance. Target spotted. Target spotted. Cat in the city, Charlie Five. New target acquired. Target spotted. New target acquired. Target spotted.
Nice kill. Target spotted. Target acquired. Indigo's one shot. No target acquired. Okay, maybe more than one shot. No target acquired. No target acquired. Five upstairs, maybe. Oh, downstairs. Target acquired. Slug fest the whole time. Go figure it's that hunchback. He's going in the tunnel. He's playing in the tunnel. Don't let him. Somebody got a KMDD on that guy, and it sure as hell wasn't me. Sorry about any team damage. Jesus, 7019 damage. I remember we were hitting a lot of you. I had six, but that's still pretty bad. One killing blow, 10 assists, one KMDD. 602 damage, 260 taken, six components destroyed. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Uh, missiles destroyed. Uh, 243, and I got a savior kill. No brawling, but you know, it's a good match overall. And I did pretty well. Buckaroo did pretty good. Highlander, nice. 508, 577, there's my 602, 887, 611, 540, the other team, uh, ooh, there's a good player, 537, so let me show you this build, this thing works exceptionally well, I really love this build, I've tried to recreate this build on other mechs, um, it doesn't seem to work as well, except for on the Paquit, I don't know what it is, um, I don't think it's the quirks, because I think I've screwed with this thing a little bit. We'll see. But anyways, this is my Paquit. I keep it dark like this so that it kind of uh, hits into the shadows a little bit. And of course, I still put red on it, of course, because, you know, it's still got to be colorful. Let's see. Do I still have all the Omnipods? Ah, that's probably what it is. Okay, so let me talk about the skills on the Paquit. This is one of the reasons I really like this guy. This specific build works really well at dealing with heat. So missile velocity plus 10%, uh, laser duration minus two and a half percent, heat minus five percent. The armor features are really almost non-existent. Um, they might as well not even exist. I mean, they're there and it is nice, but turn rate plus 15%, torso yaw plus 40%. Now, this is the problem that the uh, Huntsman has, is the Huntsman is like a miniature version of the Night Geyer. It's not very fast, um, and it has a tendency to be a little sluggish um, in the match. And I think the turn rate and the uh, yaw really makes 
uh, the difference on this particular build more than the uh, the weapons features do because uh, being able to uh, swish uh, damage off really makes a difference now since I this is a uh, a, a mech I have that has um, jump jets I have actually upped the armor in the rear of this one um, and I sacrificed some of the uh, head in order to get what I wanted out of this the uh, there isn't enough armor in the legs and I will I will say that that is a fact but I needed to have full armor here and full armor here and here in order to get this build to work really well four tons of ammo uh, for two ATM 12s is a little bit on the light side but I wanted laser AMS and I wanted my three ER medium lasers I needed these lasers so that I can keep at a distance and still be able to put damage down range I want to be able to hit and get into cover so duck and move duck and move um, and watch my corners and doors and stuff like that so that way I don't get hurt as much and still be able to do damage at a distance so that's what I really like about this guy here I'll try and get a lock um, while I'm firing my lasers like I do on many of my other builds and then uh, once I get a lock then I'll fire my missiles and then just drop out of the sky so this this mech works really well at being able to uh, pop tart and uh, put damage down range and I'll show you why so when you take a look at this guy the ATM 12s are way up here and this really uh, lends to being able to put these down range. You don't even have to see the target necessarily to be able to get these down range because you can see the cockpit is way over here and way up above is these guys here. And that really makes a big difference. You can also tell why I painted this thing black because these things are really high above the canopy. And it is nice that the lasers are somewhat near the canopy area so you can't necessarily say that uh, if you can see it, you can shoot it, but it's a lot closer than it is in other mechs. I actually consider the Huntsman to be the clan equivalent to the Phoenix Hawk. Because if you really look at the two, the Phoenix Hawk and this mech, I think I might actually have a Phoenix Hawk. Do I have one? Oh, I'm looking at all clan mechs, so let me go both. Yeah, so if you look at the Phoenix, so you got the uh, the Huntsman right here, and I click on the Phoenix Hawk. The Phoenix Hawk is a little bit taller, but it boasts similar style type of weapons as far as at least the, uh, the weapons. It's got two uh, lasers on this arm, one on this one. In this case, I've got this set up with PPCs. I don't particularly like the Phoenix Hawk, but you get the idea. So this has got two light or three three light PPCs and the machine guns. If this had missiles, I would absolutely be rocking uh, SRM sixes on this because being able to keep it range would be nice, and it's still being able to do the damage that this thing is capable of. But yeah, I call this guy Starscream because if you think about it, it kind of looks like Starscream, sort of the body style. So, anyways, back to the uh, the Huntsman, and I call this guy Anubis. Um, I think of this guy as that, that type of mech, but except I've done m way more damage in this mech than I could ever do in a Phoenix Hawk. I know there are a lot of skilled Phoenix Hawk players out there. I'm just not one of them. I don't do particularly well in Interstellar mechs, and I think part of it is, is because you get less weapons per tonnage, and that's not even open for debate at this point. Uh, just look at the LRMs. 10 tons versus 5 tons. It's a no-brainer to go with Clan. You get the same amount of damage, and uh, it weighs half as much. They both do 20 damage. There's no argument. So anyway, yeah, so this guy, uh, with having the weapons up, up really up high and really really good placement and stuff, a lot of other mechs, they have the uh, arms way down here around the, the, the uh, uh, waist. That's really a problem. But at any rate, yeah, so uh, I really love the way this guy is built. And as far as the skills go, Um, I've got maxed out on range as usual. Um, I've got heat dissipation. I'm not worried about the laser duration features so much because I'm uh, typically going back into cover before these things fully discharge anyways because it's all about the uh, two ATM-12s. 
and then I've got the velocity set up uh, skeletal density armor I'm not worried about overheating so much but I do have AMS additional lift speed and shock absorbers um, additional cooling uh, seismic sensor radar deprivation I wish I had ECM but you know it's 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 a trade-off and then of course my two cool shots and my UAV I hope this was useful and I hope you consider this mech as a, uh, a choice for you if you get a chance to get a hero mech this is one of the great ones I really love this hope to see you on the battlefield